so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Hey Jams, it's Grandma Shamima and we are back at it again with another motherfucking vlog. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go tour a, another house today. Um, I gave you guys a quick summary of what's been going on. Um, and I'm just not really fully happy with um, the space right now. And um, the owners have been accommodating, um, so I do appreciate that. But their accommodations um, doesn't necessarily work for my lifestyle. And there's, you know, requesting that certain accommodations be made as a renter. And then there's like, okay, I'm also a content creator. And so what accommodations may work for a regular person is not going to work for me as a content creator in the kind of content that I do. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this place work, not to mention I hate interacting with the managing companies, so I prefer to not have to deal with them ever again in my life, but I'm not sure if I really am meant to prepare to take that decision, but um, I've started looking for houses and stuff, so I mean, we're gonna see what happens. Um, I also have a lot of work to do, so I brought my laptop bag. Well, I brought my laptop in a bag. And since I haven't unpacked, I don't have any of my work bags. So I put my stuff in a Trader Joe's bag. It's given groceries. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm about to head out. Um, I still can't quite reach the sink and I really want to wash my cup. I haven't made my little oxy shred mix in so long, but it is what it is. I guess I'll decide today based on this house because the house I'm going to see now is my runner up. Um, because I'm like, if, if I'm going to redo this whole shift, this move again, it has to be worth it, okay? Um, so I guess my decision on this house is going to determine whether or not I'm going to just settle for this one. Um, and I don't want to say settle for the house. The house itself, the home is beautiful. Um, but like the circumstances around it and some of the accommodations that um, are temporarily in place. But that temporary is still a long time and it's going to impact how I work. And I just did not foresee adding. Oh, I really didn't want to start off with like a negative vibe. Okay, whatever. We're going to tour a potential house and whatever comes from that comes from that. I'll make my decision today or in the next couple of days. We'll see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Ugh, I didn't want to bring that kind of attitude. Um, but yeah, let me grab some of my probiotics. Shout out to my little travel stash. Let me grab a... Um, electrolyte as well you know i don't really have any sugar-free liquid ivs and i really need to get on that like i feel like i don't really know how much sugar content is in these and i should look into that so i'd be guzzling these down um and i wish i had the energy one but that's fine i'll stop and get a coffee or something or maybe i just go work in a coffee shop um i kind of want to work somewhere where i can also grab breakfast <laughs> but we'll see i washed my hair this morning and put oil and so if you see me doing this it's because y'all know my hair likes to play delay and by that i mean i'll put oil on my scalp and i won't know that i put too much until it starts drizzling down my forehead 30 minutes later um and that's what's been happening this morning i was like oh wait a minute i feel it a trickle <laughs> all right y'all let's hit the road let me put this in my bag let's hit the road jack and don't you come back no more <laughs> I be thinking I'm so clever and witty. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Come on, vamanos. Everybody, let's go. <laughs> Lighting is such a nasty work. 
but this is the closet um closet room uh, it's, um it looks like a trash room because all my clothes are in bags so you can imagine the difficulty in trying to um address yeah i was hoping to um have time to unpack start putting my clothes away most of them are still on hangers y'all know how i like to like fold stuff from traveling like that fold method it it goes back years and it came from moving <laughs> so i just take a, a pile or um a section off the hangers take it and i literally roll it in the clothes one protects the hangers two makes movements quick as hell and three i don't have to put every individual piece into a box and i'll save way more money that way and space because i've done this in boxes too or like wardrobe boxes oh my god it would have this room would have been filled down the hallway please um but yeah so i haven't unrolled anything <laughs> but i did the only thing i took off the hangers with the tops because they were um too short for me to, to effectively wrap around the hangers so the hangers would have been ripped into the bags um and i want that so i was able to like find a bag with tops in it <laughs> and um yeah, I'm about to get dressed now for a quick little, a quick little BBQ auction. And I appreciate that this shirt has a pattern on it, so it minimizes the wrinkles that you can see on this. We're, we're so grateful for that. We are so grateful for that. Um, I finished my, my video, uploaded it. What am I doing? And I had to take a nap, y'all. I was so tired. Because <laughs> once again, I haven't been on my stuff. Y'all know. Yep, please. Y'all ain't here. Right. But yeah, my vitamin see not my diamond see my body my iron <laughs> my iron finally came in so i just need to find my the rest of my supplements so i can start feeling human again yeah so i'm the baby between shorts and leggings but i haven't shaved in <laughs> who knows how long so the shorts kind of look like that's probably not the best idea so i think i'm gonna do leggings with this top sandals in my little backpack my little coach backpack for a little outdoor barbecue luckily it's like raining which doesn't sound like a good thing but i feel like it'll cool down the barbecue or the get the get together or whatever it is because it was very hot today scorching literally heat wave every day i get a new alert oh alert heat wave da 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 bruh anyways yeah so i was able to pull out some cute tops but most of it either needs a different kind of bra or it's super wrinkled and i don't know where my iron is so and i feel like i saw it it wasn't well packed i think they threw it in something and they brought it up so at some point i'll be able to tackle that but for sure this room and the kitchen are the two first places i need to tackle kitchen is number one um, but at least we have something for tonight so yeah let's look at dress or get ready um we're in my closet the actual closet of my bedroom the lighting in here is terrible so forgive moi but do you guys remember the leggings i was waiting to you guys about i packed some of those so i'm so happy i did because that's exactly what i'm about to put on uh-oh uh-oh Okay. 
ya estamos bella. Se ve más linda, se ve más bella. Yo soy Guariña, una oncella. Orangutan ni Superman. Yo mando todo esto a tu papá. Yo soy el jefe de este lugar. Yo soy el rey de la selva. Se pide, el respeto aquí se gana, se nota que tú de la selva, te atoja mi sabana. Orangutan y Superman, yo mando a tu hasta tu papá, yo soy el jefe de este lugar, yo soy el rey de la selva. El rey de la selva. So... I have arrived to the location. Hopefully it's a good time. Hopefully the food is good. Hopefully I have a time. So let's get to it. So let's get to it. I think it stopped raining, which is good. But they have tents anyway, so. <laughs> I want more energy, more energy. Okay, more energy. All right, more money, more money, more money. All right, drink up, drink up, drink up, drink up. Energy for what? <laughs> Back home. <laughs> Do I look cute? Do I look cute? Um, I look a little crazy, but I oiled my scalp using a new oil that I discovered at Target as I am for a dry and itchy scalp. So I oiled my scalp, and because I don't like for oil to be on my pillows and stuff, I put my bonnet on and I put the shower cap on top. <laughs> It's giving a hot oil treatment. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow at some point. So I went ahead and did that so I could sleep in peace, honey. Cause I, I'm the whole oily my scalp for bed. Like in my mind, the idea of it sounds good, but I'm, I'm real particular about my sheets and my pillows. Um, but yeah, I'm about to call it a night, y'all. A time was freaking had. I'm so sorry for the fan. Did I give you an update that I decided to stay? Oh my God, did I get on the update? Or am I tripping? Am I gonna repeat myself? Long story short, um, I just realized that while my concerns were valid, at this point, um, I am the drama. Um, Cause like I said, accommodations were made, which are perfect for the average renter. But as a content creator, I'm just like, damn, like, you know, like, I now need a fan. So the audio is going to be not the best. And as someone who's, like, determined to start elevating my content more, this is setting me back. But um, I just realized that for me to truly get everything that I want and need, I just have to buy. Buy and renovate or buy build and buy you know like i i just i really have to accept the fact that i i just have to be a real adult and um for real invest in my career because that's what this is <laughs> it was up to me in my solo life babes i found me a cute little one of bedroom apartment in dc and i'd be having a time living life you know but the direction I want to go in with my career. Because one thing about it, Jamima works, okay? One thing about it, Jamima puts in time and effort into her career, no matter what career path I'm on. Um, and also, I was thin today and I was like, you know what, I might go back to um, working like a single mother of four children. Um, and, and part of me knows that deep down inside, there's there's a toxicity <laughs> that that is stemming from um 
and where I, I clearly place a lot of my value in what I'm able to produce in the work that I do. Um, yeah, so that's a topic I need to revisit with my therapist. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, you're already struggling. Why do you want more jobs? Why do you want an additional career path? Like, <laughs> like you want diversity so bad. You want the switch up so bad. You can't even manage what you're handling now. <laughs> like, babes, your plate is full. It overfloweth. You want another job? And not even a, in the same industry you're in. You want a completely new fit. Ciao. Um... And y'all know when I was in Atlanta, I was dabbling in um, the idea of volunteering and nonprofit and eventually working my way into the workforce. Um, that All that came to a screeching halt, <laughs> of course, but um, you know, who knows what new opportunities can be on the horizon now that I'm back in the DMV. Um, but we'll chat anyways. The point is, I, I got to the house, and I mean, the house is beautiful, beautiful, um, and a lot more spacious. I was like, oh my, the, like, the room itself weren't spacious, but the house itself had more space, like more storage space, more like free space. The kitchen, the kitchen is what had me like, I'm sold, I, I want in. The kitchen, and I'm just like, you know what, Jamima, while you do, like this house I would still want to make changes like I walked in and I was like mm, this is what I want to change this is what I want to change and I'm just like just buy your own so at this point just buy your own so you can make it exactly how you want it exactly how you want it but man I don't know if somebody get froggy again I'm about to email sus and be like oh, give me the house Cause all she's waiting for is my my docs. That kitchen, oh, and there was just so much storage space. Like I was just like, oh, and y'all know I got stuff for days, okay? <laughs> um, so I think that at some point next year, I'm tired. At some point next year, I think I might buy. But I'm like, I I rushed the rental process because I also knew like it's a rental, I'm not rushing this buying process. If I don't find either the foundation of the house that I really want or the, uh, a community or the build that I want, I'm, listen, I'm not forcing nothing because I'm locked in. I'm all the way locked in. I'm not, I'm not gonna play myself. So I really hope I can deal with these people, y'all. And I feel like on a normal day in a normal life, I'd be able to suck it up and, and deal with it. But everybody get on my nerves, man. You know, and somebody flicks you a couple times, it's more annoying than anything. But if somebody repeatedly gets flicking in that same spot over and over and over and over again for the for three weeks straight, it's not just annoying, it's painful. It becomes sore and they're still flicking in the same place. That's how I feel about certain parts of life. But I will say though, um, it has been a joy reconnecting with friends. Um, and family back home um, and that that was great like tonight was such a good time just kicking and laughing not thinking about nothing just enjoying my time out that was great I really needed tonight and I'm just like you know what I'm gonna be all right I'm sorry y'all. I've been complaining a lot in this vlog I know I am I'm so sorry and I, I complained a lot in the last vlog too but it's because I haven't spoken to my therapist. And if I don't talk to her, I'm sorry. Y'all catching the brunt of it. I should talk to myself out loud so I can get it out. So by the time I come on camera, I'm calm. <laughs> but anyways, child, I thank y'all for listening and for letting me vent. Um, it'll work out, though. It'll work out. Because now we have a plan. One thing about it, I, I always need a plan. It may not always come to fruition, but... I'm definitely a plan A, B, C, D, and E kind of girl, okay? I need a backup to the backup for me to feel like I'm okay, you know? I should have been born a born for Virgo. Like, I feel like the life gave me Virgo tendencies. 
Are those even real? Like, are zodiac signs real? Or is it something that somebody made up and we just follow for vibes? I don't know, child. Anyways, let me go to, to, to bed so I can actually get some things done tomorrow. The goal is to actually start unpacking. Now that I've made it a decision, no more excuses. Get off your hind part and get started on this house so you can report all these damages. <laughs> Like, every time I look at my lamp, I just, huh? Cause where even, where's where's the light? And it's like, I, I, I know y'all saw the lamp looking like this when you unloaded it and, and brought it to the room. And nobody said a word, nobody said anything. Not to mention like, they like scuffed off the walls and dirtied the carpet, so I had to do some maintenance as well. Um, but anyways, that's a conversation for a different day. I'm finna go to bed. Thank y'all for listening. Uh, see you manana. Okay. Hey, Jans. As you can see, we are finally making headway in the kitchen. Shout out to Kim. She did a pop-up on me, which first of all, don't be popping up. <laughs> did a pop-up and prepped my kitchen for me while I was editing. Not me tripping. <laughs> so now I can actually walk into the kitchen. Thank God. We were out, we ran some errands. We stopped at Jersey Mike's to get some subs. You know, a light chew. Y'all, they don't toast their bread. Cold sub, hot sub. No, their sandwiches get toasted. I said, excuse me? What do you mean you don't toast your bread? Like, I couldn't believe it. And then halfway through my sandwich, it started tasting a little off, like something was going bad. So I haven't eaten, finished my food, and now I'm hungry. I'm so upset about that. Cause how I spend money and I'm so hungry. I'm going to continue working on this kitchen. Um, Cause I need to be able to cook by tomorrow. Oh shoot. I was supposed to place my grocery order. That's what I need to do right now. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna get the rest of this kitchen together. As much as we can for now, because this kitchen is a lot smaller than it initially looked um and there's just not enough space for my stuff so i've had to purge and declutter some more kim literally has a, a box of stuff that she's gonna be taking with her to her house like um it's just <sighs> this move is a reality check <laughs> um and i had a lot of plans when i came as well because this was supposed to be long term but now that i know i'm not gonna be here long term anymore it's like the whole pack system, the whole like, you know, plan that I had. I was gonna make it like a little guard. Like, you know, I just had a whole bunch of ideas. Um, and now I'm not gonna do that, any of that. Cause I'm like, I'm, I would be investing in a house. I'm not, one, it's not mine. And two, I'm not staying in. So I kind of don't really know just yet what that means for me going forward. Besides the fact that this is in fact going to be a light move-in situation and not what I initially thought. Cause like, I actually wanted to paint my bedroom, paint an accent wall. Like I just had a whole bunch of different ideas, you know? I was excited to actually live in my space for once, um, but that's okay. We'll save all the energy for next year um, or whatever, whenever I find the right place for me. Uh, Cause who knows how long that's gonna take. Especially the way things are looking right now, like things are looking a little bleak. The stock market had a huge crash, not a crash, but people have really been like moving their funds around. And they said that this is the lowest that has been since um, the COVID scare. 2.9 trillion money was moved. 2.9 trillion money, my goodness. At this point, stop speaking. <laughs> stop speaking, Jamima. Cause you don't know what words are anymore. You don't know how to use them in a sentence. But yeah, so I'm just like, ooh, now's the time to, to, to revisit them stocks to see where they gonna go up again. <laughs> now is the time to, 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 to take a look at my investments, okay? And see what changes need to be made for to spend more coin. I'm trying to come up. <laughs> but yeah, so let me, do me one, this is your problem. Focus on one task. We're gonna order our groceries so they can come tomorrow and then we will resume the kitchen. 
because I, I need to, ugh, I'm tired of eating out I need to cook a meal a balanced whole food meal like I want spinach in my eggs the works you know let me go ahead and add this spinach to my cart and let me get some eggs and go ahead and do that too organic brown eggs chow Ooh, that's expensive mm. <laughs> Hmm. Mm. Let me try this other brand. Okay, so I know it doesn't look like much, but I cleared out a good four more boxes and organized appliances, put a lot of things away. So now pretty much all the cupboards are full. The top still looks chaotic. Some of it being because I need to get an additional situation, like a coffee armoire table set up because um, I don't have space for any of my coffee or teas. <laughs> like legit a whole box this is all this is teas and stuff and coffee stuff not to mention what's actually still on here so you know she's a coffee girly <laughs> she's a beverage girly um and then i need to figure out an overflow area for some of my suppies which i kind of have an idea where i'm gonna put them but i am clocking out for the night i'm trying to get back on my zoom um which means getting up at 5 a.m. again, which means going to bed at a reasonable hour. So I said, I'm going to try to get back to winding down at 10, calling it a night at 11, up at five. So wish me luck, um, I'm very scared. We're also gonna try and hit the gym tomorrow. Very scared, okay? But yeah, we're gonna head up to the room to one down for the night oh my gosh i did laundry and i forgot my clothes in the washer and no dryer um yeah i need to set up my closet there's so much to do like this is literally just the beginning just the tip of it i'm officially moving in i'm officially here to stay for now <sighs> let the work begin y'all kim was so crucial to today's success i would not have made it this far without her like my friends are the MVP, for real. Um, and more of the girlies are coming later on this week, so we shall see. But yeah, so today's Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. I'm gonna make sure I start the week off right. Trying to set myself up for success. But yeah, okay, let's head upstairs now. So before I hop in the shower, I placed an order for this a fresh situation, which is supposed to clean the washing machine. I noticed that there's a mildew smell coming from the washing machine. And earlier I saw traces of water in it. <sighs> yeah, oof, yeah. Um, I don't think it's self drying, like after the cycle is complete. Um, Cause with my last washer, once I finish the cycle and I move the clothes from the washer to the dryer, it will start a venting process. I don't think this one does that. So it, make, like, it keeps that moisture. Ugh, inside like i can smell it which you know of course has me concerned with mildew so like a tide pod is not going to be enough oh this smells good it smells like lemon so it says to just pop one of these tablets in there and to run it on a clean self clean cycle which is four hours long <laughs> so i'm gonna do that while i go to bed oh shoot I should do this after so that it doesn't take up all the hot water. Cause I gotta wash my hair. Oh, yeah, let me do this. Mm. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'll be okay. I'm literally gonna hop in the shower now and do a quick in and out. 
So we should be, we should be okay. We'll see. It's literally about to be like a marathon. <laughs> Let's see. Self clean, yeah, four hours and one minute. That's insane. Ha. He. Okay. All right, let's go shower and use up the hot water before this machine does. <laughs> Early the next morning. Good morning. to it but hey guys welcome back to another vlog we are going to be getting prepared for summer in this vlog so i've been wanting to do a video like this like i should be out in nature and doing things that really make me happy and you know add memories to my life instead of just scrolling and watching everybody else's highlights so uh, and i for me i was like okay but can i get a good glute pump like if i was at the gym and i'm here to tell you yes ma'am okay so voiceover and talk you guys through my workout i'm gonna do a customized workout so there's actually workouts that they have for you already like leg days so anyways let's get started okay guys before we jump into this glute workout i do want to share with you guys some of the amazing features that this smart home gym has so experience because it comes with hundreds of fully guided workouts and not to mention they have some of the most advanced accessories i have ever used for all ages and all goals and i do really feel if more people were able to experience this amazing piece of equipment it would truly change so many lives which are the most taxing on me because i really like focus in and i want the intensity to be as much as it possibly can my week aside and and with this here, I'm able to go so slow and controlled and I'm really able to target my hamstrings and glutes this way. You have to play around with your footing. Everybody's biomechanics is different. It is just a game changer. It feels intense. Before I used to just go heavy with everything. So that's just something, a little different thing that I do now after all my years of working out. Y'all, we have yet another issue this morning. I can't get the dishwasher to work. Now, some of user error. I'm like, I've never used this kind of dishwasher before. Let me look up YouTube, YouTube tutorials. I already watched two and a half videos and all of them basically said that you just have to open the dishwasher, um, select your, your settings, whatever the case may have you. Um, which I'm trying to see, I'm the impression the other ones, I can't even unselect these, huh? So you're supposed to, you know, press start and then close it and it should start. Except that it's not starting. Has it been starting? I tried pressing it for three seconds. Not starting. I tried doing another kind of wash cycle. Still not starting. And now I'm just like, bruh, I do not want to go through this fucking management company again. Because, like, I feel like they're scamming me. <laughs> um, did I explain the whole HVAC situation? When the guy came um, to, to check the AC unit, and that's why even as a renter whenever there's an issue and they send maintenance or send somebody come to the the place to check it out i always ask for an update like i want to know what's going on so he basically gave me a rundown like hey the system that you have is too small for the house um not only that but he needs to check the circulation of the vents because it's like the air that's coming out is like 10 degrees warmer than it should be da -da -da. like basically the air that it's trying to push out First of all, it isn't making it throughout the entire house evenly, one, and also it's coming out warmer in other parts than it should. Um, and he had two proposed solutions. One, you could add another unit upstairs um, and have two units in the house, um, or you could upgrade the, the system to a bigger one. Um, ooh, excuse me. Personally, I would do two units because like downstairs would be real cold um, and then upstairs be all right, you know? I personally would rather have two systems so that you can regulate the temperature as needed for that area of the house. But like I said, <laughs> clearly I just need to buy my own shit. Um, 
yeah and so because i know what the hvac guy said when um i reached back out because i was like i'm expecting to hear a follow-up because he's like i need to come back and check the circulation da, da, da. okay cool like i said i'm expecting some kind of follow-up it's been a couple of days didn't hear anything reached out to the maintenance company hey it, kindly check it in for an update um what do you mean an update uh hvac guy said he did a tune-up everything's great it hasn't been any new issues what do you mean everything is great Mind you, I don't know necessarily if it's the owner's response or the management company, but eventually, depending on how they respond, I'm like, oh no, this is the management company, this is not the owner. <laughs> um, they're like, oh, like there's no problem. And that's why I always ask, because he, he was about to leave and I said, what's, what's, what's the tea? Because um, imagine I didn't ask him that and he didn't give me the breakdown. So he came in, did whatever he did, and then just left. And I'm counting, I'm trusting the person that I'm working with, the person who's being the intermediary, collecting my coins. I'm trusting them to give me accurate information. And they're telling me, no, he said that it's fine. When it's in fact not fine. <laughs> he came in here, he was like, yeah, it's hot. What do you mean? What do you mean? And they're like, oh, no, he said it's okay. Like, what's the problem? Now, if I didn't know the real tea, I'd be like, dang, like, if the h guy is cosigning, I must be tripping. Clearly, I'm in menopause. Because <laughs> cause if the h guy, the professional guy comes in and he, he says, okay, then there's nothing else that I can do. But because I, I knew exactly what he said, I rebutted with the email. And I was like, what do you mean? He said it's okay. They gave him a breakdown of exactly what he said. And they're like, oh, oh, uh, well, we called him. We called him back, da, da, da. We reached out to the owners, and they're going to, you know, that's when I said they, they made accommodations. So they're like, basically, you can do an AC window unit, or you can get portable um, ACs in the rooms. Like I said, I'm a content creator, and one of the reasons why I picked this house is because of lighting. So you putting AC units in the windows, first of all, is very ugly. I'm so sorry. Shout out to my New Yorkers gang gang. But that's not the vibe that I, I if I hadn't walked in and I saw that during the tour, I'd be like, y'all keep the house. That's not the vibe I'm going for. One, that's extra noise. Two, I don't like how it looks. And then three, you're blocking window. Like... You're blocking window. I need my window so I can sit here and do my content so I can pay the rent. Um, and so I was like, they they be lying. They be lying. Like straight up lie to my face. Cause he came here and did all this. And my man was all sweating. Just to turn around and say that it's fine. Y'all told me it's fine. I guess they didn't know that I would speak to him or talk. I don't I don't really know what the logic is. I don't I don't know what the logic is. I'm telling you, some this <laughs> Mm. And the thing is, like I said, when I first started looking into this house, I really thought it was a scam because of how everything was done. Um, and one of the reasons I was like, okay, maybe I could take a chance is because I looked up their ratings online. And the ratings were from landlords, not renters. Everything that I was seeing was from people that hired them. And I'm like, that's probably why their ratings are so high. Because the landlords don't even know what the hell be happening. Because there's, how am I supposed to reach out to the, the owner and let them know they lying and doing fuck shit. It's making me not want to stay in your house. If I wasn't desperate, I would not be here right now. And I'm just like, the fact that I have another issue that I have to bring to them, I'm just like, bruh, maybe I, I already started. This whole having to go back and forth about whether or not I should be moving to another house or not, this is crazy. I should not be dealing with this. Like, the move was not supposed to be that the stressful aspect of this, you know? But, like, the fact that they lied about that, I'm just like, I don't trust them at all. But I'm, I guess the owner wants to be as hands-off as possible because um, apparently the owner told them to handle the whole AC unit situation. Um, and that's how I realized. So the people that have been coming to do like the repairs and the tune-ups and stuff, I assumed that it was the owner that was bringing them over or calling them and having them come over to check. Um, and I think, but I think they're they're on either payroll with the maintenance, the management company, or they're affiliated with them, or they have them on retainer, or they have the, their go-to people that they send out. 
because the guy that came to do the repair for the garage, because the garage didn't have an external opener, he, he came yesterday because he had to finish uh, the last portion of the repairs. And he was like, oh yeah, they said that um, you needed like fans. And he brought a couple fans and he was like, you want this or should I keep it? I said, I said that I would accept the AC portable units. Why y'all bringing fans to my house? My house. Why y'all bringing fans to the house? Y'all, I... And then they didn't even bring enough fans for the rooms. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I'm so fucking annoyed. Apparently this dishwasher is complicated. I don't know. But based on what everybody else is saying, how it should work, it's not working. But also the inside is filthy, which makes me suspicious that it doesn't work. Because how you run a dishwashing cycle and the inside looks like you store dirty, dirty dishes in there and that's just, they don't get cleaned. There's like food and stuff at the bottom. But it's like, if the dishwasher don't work, why is that yet not another thing that you said? God, I'm so annoyed. Ugh. Supposed to be hanging out with Jenny, but life was life in, and our time was cut short. But I already brought food for her and the kids. <laughs> hi, guys. Zabek said hi. Oh, not sure. I'm gonna say hi to the kids. Blue hood. Pizza. You're not, you're not getting any. This kid said, where's my pizza? I ain't mad, I 
say the same thing too. Let's give it Uber Eats. Y'all, today was a good day. My dad is doing so much better. Y'all, he back being sassy and everything. I said, oh, you you cracking jokes on me now? Oh yeah, <laughs> you feeling better. <laughs> but I, I hope he wants some coffee. And I saw this coffee shop. <sighs> if they had drive-thru, I would have I would have gone, but I forgot what it's called. I really wanted to try it out. But y'all, now I'm gonna leave my car running in the middle of the street. I'm out here risking it all. But yeah. But it's been a long day on the way home. I guess I'll see when I get home. <laughs> hey y'all. Um so I'm sitting here. I done made a little makeshift off the spice. Ooh. Um, this desk is broken. This is yet another desk I didn't survive the move. Um so I'm trying not to put weight on it or anything because it will fall apart. <laughs> I love that for me. This is my makeup desk, my L shaped desk. Yeah, RIP. Um, <laughs> yikes. Um, your girl had to get a Wi Fi extender because there are parts of the house that um, were dead zones or weak spots that wasn't getting the service of Le Modem. So I just set that up. I've been procrastinating. I've been ordered that and it's been sitting here. So I just finally did that. Um, I did not finish the kitchen. Was I supposed to? Absolutely. <laughs> um, I reached out about the dishwasher. They said that the manual was on top of the fridge. Got it. Retrieved it. Tried to start the dishwasher. It's still not starting. All the controls work. I can press the buttons. I can do all the things. But when I press start, it's almost like it doesn't know that the dishwasher door is closed. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be dreading the next couple of days as we sort through this. Um, I also heard back about the AC. Um, someone from the property management team called me this morning. And they were like, oh, well, they called me to see what the issue was because I don't think the guy that brought the fans is clear about what the issue was. And the issue is he did not bring portable AC units. He brought fans. And he sent them a picture, but I guess they didn't really look at the picture to see that they didn't. He brought fans and not an AC unit. Um, so once we clarified that, um, we got off the phone and they sent me an email. And I think the owner wants to lean towards um, the window AC units um but because of my line of work and my needing the windows and also the ac unit window units are ugly and aesthetics are part of my career <laughs> like i said at this point i am the drama i recognize this um so i said i, I really would prefer to somehow make the portable units work but at the end of the day i just there's only so much that i can do you know like this is not what i signed up for clearly but this is where we are. So now I have to send another email saying the dishwasher is still not working. Um, so I don't, I'm like, can it still possibly be user error? Like, you press a cycle, you choose a cycle, you press start. I don't, I don't understand what's what's not clicking. And I know for this model, people are saying that if you open the door, because it's at the top of the door, like. When you, let's say this is the door, you open a door, the programming is on the top, and then you close the door. But I can still reach the programming even though it's closed. So I've done it both open and close. Open and close. Open and close. I've done it both ways and it still doesn't start. I've tried programming it, 
pushing it, holding it in place, it still didn't start. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. And I just realized, like, I'm, I'm, an, I'm, I'm a condo babe, I think. I'm a penthouse suite condo. Like, I, I want the space to be away and so great that it feels like a house but still with apartment amenities because why can't I call maintenance and come have them fix this and have it be done and done correctly and there's nobody going back and forth with me there's nobody arguing with me there's nobody telling me to figure it out myself there's nobody telling me or gaslighting me that there's no issue to begin with I just I'm a penthouse babe but it's like, do you have penthouse money? The penthouse that I'm envisioning, I want to be able to drive my car. <laughs> I want to be able to, to drive my car onto an, a lift and have them bring it up. <laughs> have them bring it up so that it is side by side with my unit. I want to see a skyline so vast. Meanwhile, please, there's no such thing in DC. I want to see a skyline so vast that I can see for the next three states. Nothing but city lights. I want to see clouds and stars. I want to see sunset. I want to wake up with the sun and, 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 and come home to the sun. But I don't want to pay for it. I feel like I should have that for free. I feel like as somebody that didn't ask to be here, those things should be provided to me, provided for me. Like I, I, I feel like I feel like as a member of this country of the great United States, why are we paying rent? Why are we paying mortgages? Why are we paying for anything? Money is not even real. Like. But also, I don't want to work. Cause if you're not buying something, I, like, how you finna get it? Like, if if I don't make the money to go buy the strawberries, the only other choice is to go outside and get the strawberries myself. But then that's a whole other degree of work, because my back, <laughs> my back, my back, make me can bend over. Me can't bend over, bend over, bend over, bend over, that way, that way. Me, me can't bend over. My back is in pain. It's hurting right now. My back is in pain, especially when I when I um, neglect core workouts. Um, I really feel it on my back. Me back, whoa. Me back in pain. I think my I think my target orders here. Did they hear me talking to myself? That's so embarrassing. I'm gonna wait until they walk away. But I got some snacks for my dad to, to bring to him when I go see him. Oh my god, did they hear me talking about my back? That's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. Ah, ah. Anyway, child, um I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna take a nice long hot shower and then I figure out how to drain the washing machine and then I'm gonna send that email tomorrow morning because ain't nothing they gonna do about it right now I'm gonna send that email tomorrow morning so I'm gonna hand wash these dishes tomorrow morning I'm gonna hand wipe them because apparently that's gonna be my future Picking my own strawberries. <laughs> Child. Anyways, drink your water. I will say, I shall say, what I do appreciate is that the water output on my fridge 15 times as fast. It's 15 times faster than my old fridge. My old fridge was cuter. They're both teeny tiny. But more water comes out on this one. Like, child, for me to fill a cup, an eight ounce cup of water at my last apartment. That's why I had the, the Brita water filter. Because I said, who got time 
for me to fill a gallon, half a gallon a day. I stopped uh, filling up water bottles to go to the gym. I just said, damn it, I just buy a water bottle. So I just started buying the 1.5 liters from Target. But now, now that I, I got a fridge that gets real water, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to saving my coins. Child, let me get this, this, this order and uh, go cook in, in tub. Mm -hmm. So for upstairs to be warm, per my standards, the other levels have to be frigid. So I would definitely need to wear a sweater down here. So if I need a sweater here, I know the basement's freezing. I know the basement's freezing. But it's like, I'd much rather freeze than have it feel normal here. And it's a sweltering heat. Sweltering heat upstairs. Anyways, I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of talking about it. I want to do something else. I want to do something else. Um, no, I want to go shower. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Showers for me are self-care. Like hygiene and cleanliness, that's second. First, spa, sauna experience. So, I'm going to wash my hind parts. I'll see y'all. When I'm so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> Good morning, gems. Um, y'all know last night I wasn't in a mood to finish the kitchen, but we got her done this morning and we are officially done with the first part of the house. Everything is put away, organized, white, damn. Okay, girl was hard at work. The dishwasher still not working. I don't know if it's user error or if it's a dishwasher, whatever the case may be. Um, but I had to hand wash some things, so that's why that's sitting up there right now. Hate that for me, but it is what it is. Um, and as of right now, I'm planning on having a little coffee station right here. Um, cause I have nowhere else to put, like, I have like that box right there and my Nespresso is in this machine, this box right here. Um, yeah, so I'm like, I probably could, I would have to see this space without this here because I probably could put the Nespresso here. But the biggest issue is I don't have anywhere to put all my teas, but I don't know. I might I might try and finesse that um, if the Nespresso will look okay here. Um, but yeah. <laughs> look at that. But yeah, this is how it's looking so far. But yeah, I want to make sure. Ooh, ooh, oh. I want to make sure that I ended this video on a positive note and it is vlog with something accomplished. Um, so things still aren't perfect, but we're making headway and I am happy about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it was um, up and down, but it's okay because I can walk into the kitchen now. No boxes. And shout out to Kim for moving the boxes and doing half the kitchen. So she said I didn't give her her credit for that, even though I did, but whatever. I was waiting. Thank you so much. I appreciate um, the love and support. Um, if you're looking to declutter your house, um, you're moving, I don't lift boxes, however, I can reorganize for a small fee of $3,000. Thank you so much. And on that note, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs> this girl says small fee of 3,000. Who should think we are? Sasha and Millie Obama. <laughs> because nobody's gonna call me, that's the whole point. I'll put her number in, a, in the description box. I'll put no. her personal number in the description. And why am I looking at your cheeks? Cause you like it. Let me go, let me make a phone call real quick. That thing it up, but you can close your eyes. Tooted and booted. And that's why you shouldn't be on FaceTime wearing just an oversized shirt. <laughs> Nothing underneath. <laughs> she's yeah, actually an eyeful right now. Around. And she's blessed. You know how people would, would pay to be in your position? For what position? What are you talking about? The view that you have. The, oh my. Mm. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>